congratulations. Thank this you. is uh, this is what every actor uh, dreams about, and uh, the uh, all of the excitement leading up to the Academy Awards. It must be thrilling for you, right? Yeah, now. yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, it's kind of like being on tour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you're all you're all together, and you're going from event to event. And uh, we had this. Uh, Oscar luncheon that they have. With all that, the nominees. With right? all the nominees right? and you're hanging out. And it's a good time. And uh, But at the end they give you this uh, sweatshirt, this nominee sweatshirt. So Oscar nominee mm -hmm. sweatshirt. So it's right yeah. there, Oscar So nominee? yeah, on the tour we all wear them, you know, out <laughs> at night, you know, and uh, all we got was this lousy t-shirt. You know? <laughs> and uh, you've gotten to be close friends. Maybe you knew all of the other nominees before, did you? No, that, that, that's actually uh, really one of the great things, seriously, because some of them I, I've met before, but uh, you get to know a bunch of actors. And Terrence directors. Howard, and, for yes, example. Terrence Howard, Heath Ledger. Uh, Heath Ledger, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. David Strathairn, right. George Clooney, right. and, uh, and you do, you, you make friends, and it's a good thing. And, and do you socialize now with these events? Yeah, you, you, you kind of, like you said, it's like a bus and truck tour, you know, you're literally going from one event to the next, and it's the same <laughs> group of people, and, and uh, it's a good time, actually. And, and uh, t tell me, now, I'm watching this uh, movie, and, and um, I guess if you're my age, you, you know a little bit about uh, Truman Capote, right. uh, and I had read In Cold Blood, and I think I had read a biography uh, on his life, but I didn't realize that there were many different ways of looking at what this guy was up to. What was your overall impression of how he conducted himself on this particular project? <clears throat> Well, um, he's uh, he's elusive, is what he is. I mean, he's he, he's he. Whenever you came to the conclusion that he was one thing, he was always the opposite, mm -hmm. and that was always kind of hard. It was kind of hard to nail him down, so I had to kind of accept that, you know. That, but he was a lot of things. I mean, he was very ambitious. Mm -hmm. uh, he was incredibly needy. I felt like there was never going to be enough love, but he was also very gregarious, a great storyteller, and. And he, uh, you know, I talked to a lot of people who knew him back then and uh, who are older than me, and, and they all have different views about that. Either they come up to me and they want to talk to me about how much they loved him, mm. or they come up to me and they want to talk to me about how much they hate him. Yeah. You know, and they want to, almost as if I'm, they want to confide in me as if I knew him myself, you know, and yeah. it, it gets kind of <laughs> awkward sometimes. But, but it really, it, it is a dichotomy about how people feel very Now, is, is it your understanding that this uh, uh, book was a tremendous literary success? Success and, and certainly uh, stamped him as the, the real deal. And then also, uh, shortly thereafter, kind of broke him, didn't it? Well, that's, that's kind of what the film is about, that trying to follow a, a singular event in his life mm -hmm. that we felt had something to do with his downfall, because he was quite prolific before this book. But after this book, he didn't write right. much of anything. And, and uh, the, uh, the, one of the points in the film is that it looks to me like he misled these guys who were now on death row, or then were on death row, and was not entirely honest with them. No. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, in the grand scheme of things, do you really have to be completely honest with people who have uh, convicted of murder? I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you can pretty much tell them anything you want, can't you? I don't... What, what is the, the moral position no, there? That, well, that's a good point, but I think... What... <laughs> Yeah, this movie's really off, isn't it? Um, <laughs> woo! I found, I'm finding out just now. I'm that sorry. I, I, don't mean, <laughs> I mean to burst your balloon. I gotta go think about this. <laughs> no, the, the crux of the film is, is that he, he, he falls in love with one of them. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he, he cares deeply about them, and that's what causes right. the tragedy, is that he's not just deceiving these murderers, as you say, he's deceiving people. That you, that's how you get to know them in yeah. the film. It's people he ultimately cares very deeply about, and he has to ultimately will or want their death to come so the book can be finished, so you can, so you can see the tragedy that kind yeah. of went forward. Well, it's, a, it's a, a wonderful film because it, it does cause you to think about things that uh, heretofore you weren't really concerned about. Exactly. And, and uh, the portrayal is just uh, tremendous. Thank and and I, I, I have a feeling, and people have told me, that you're just a little tired of doing that voice. And by God, I don't blame you. And how do you think yeah. he felt? I mean, yeah. they, he was walking around with that voice. <laughs> but it... it uh, <laughs> Anyway, all, all the best of luck to you yeah, on that. You. And you, you began, uh, you studied drama here in New York City? Uh, yeah, at, at NYU. Uh, and uh, the director of the film, Bennett Miller, uh, I went to college with. Mm -hmm. And uh, the writer, I also knew. We all met when we were 16. So you guys were, were kids and knew, kn knowing we, then what you wanted to do, and now it's come yeah, full now circle. Yeah, now it's come full And we, have this, uh, we had this friend at that time, uh, Stephen Schub, who we made a pact, a drunken pact one night at that time, <laughs> that if uh, one of us ever won the, or was nominated for an Academy Award and won, that we had to bark the whole acceptance speech. 
And, All right, uh, now let, uh, take me through that again. Well, it was you're nominated for an Academy if Award. No, if we ever okay. nominated, and, and now it, you have, and been we were nominated. very serious. But I mean, literally, we're like, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, there's, I, I will definitely <laughs> commit to this. <laughs> and uh, we were, <laughs> so we were. Ben and I went, met with Stephen in Los Angeles recently. He said, "So remember that we made this pact. You have to bark." <laughs> and the thing is, is that you can't just bark. You have to bark until they pull you off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so, uh, so, you know, you know, <laughs> bar, 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 you know, they're pulling you out. Oh yeah. my! This this is now a oh. once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. So let's let's hope I don't have to get up there. Oh no! Oh no! I yeah, want to see yeah. this. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I guess you would probably work again sometime, right? If you if you did the that. Shaggy DA, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be delightful. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we have a friend in common. We both, uh, and I guess you've uh, well, I know you've worked with uh, Amy Sedaris in, in another film, and you've right. been friends with her for quite a while. The strangest. Yeah, I've known her. Uh, she's great on this show. She's, oh, she's the best, isn't she? she yeah, she's. Uh, she, I think she's a genius. Kind. Of. I mean, she's probably embarrassed hearing me say that, but yeah, we knew each other very well. She would always one of we would she we would play a lot of games together. And one of them was she she would um, blindfold me, or I'd have to cover my eyes, and and she'd say, you know, figure out what I'm doing, and uh, and I would just hear high heels kind of moving very very quickly along the floor, you know, and sometimes skidding. <laughs> And then I'd hear someone rustling with something, and then I'd hear the front door open and close, open and close, and, and I'd literally, that's true, I'd literally be like, oh, and I'd say, she's like, what was I doing? And I'd be like, uh, I have no, no idea what just happened. And uh, she's like, I was a very nervous woman getting ready for a date. And I, and I thought, and, and then it all came, because then she would act it out for me with my eyes uh -huh. open, and it made, made absolute sense. The high heels, jostling with yeah. the jewelry, yeah. opening the door, oh, I missed something, closing the door, going back. So that's kind of her. Yeah, it, her it, 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 it sounds uh, perverse uh, unless you've spent a minute with the woman. <laughs> that's exactly right. Then it all makes perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah very so entertaining. Fight to get in the front door. And, and when when you do spend time with her, is she always entertaining, or is she just on television? Is she always entertaining? She's always entertaining, but she's uh, an incredibly thoughtful woman, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a very very thoughtful woman. But yeah, she's very entertaining to be around. What uh, what will you be doing? Uh, I guess you've already made a, another film since uh, Capote, and what is that film? Uh, Mission Impossible Three. Yeah, I'm going to play that. Yeah, I'm going to play that. It's, it's kind of yeah. polar opposite, yeah, isn't it? A little. Yeah. What 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 is your part in that film? <laughs> I play the heavy in that, but I, I I've decided that I'm going to I'm going to play him as Truman Capote and just kind of <laughs> kind, of, kind of keep it going. Just you know? ride yeah, that yeah, for a while. Ride, yeah, ride, why? It, ride, it, ride, it, ride it right out to the end of my career. Yeah, boy. Uh, so so this movie it's a it's an excellent uh, category. Not only best actors but also uh, best picture nominees this year. Uh, and best of luck to you with everything. Uh, great pleasure to meet you. Uh, I, I uh, found the movie just uh, fascinating and uh, greatly entertaining. Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen.